Hello everyone, welcome, and this is going to be my very first playthrough, obviously, of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have not even opened it up, I have not seen the title screen, all I have done is just simply load the game in, uh, manually download the update for it, and that's it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to play, obviously just excited in general because the game has been put off for probably what two years I think it was it was delayed which is fine that's a whole other di uh, discussion for a whole nother time but oops sorry but anyway I am super duper duper excited long story short I've had a couple def technical difficulties trying to get the Elgato up and running and running smoothly so I think I finally have it to where it's running pretty well and uh yeah uh, let's let's get right into it, shall we? Here we go. When you're biding your time by watching uh, the MGS3 Fox Engine cutscenes and this pops on, also the Switch has a beautiful interface. It really does. Okay, okay, shh, 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 shh. The Legend of Zelda. Oh, man. I'm just like, Breath of the Wild. It's just like, oh, I'm so ready. So ready. My body is Reggie. Oh, man. I know, that satisfying click. I know, right? It really does have that. Open your eyes. It really does have that satisfying... You hate me now? You beat me to the line? Aww. Body is ready? Yeah, or Reggie. There you go. Open. Also, this is my first time running a two-monitor setup. So apologies if... Apologies if I don't check the chat quite as often, because if it's all on the same scene or screen, it's a lot easier to kind of remember. I'm so ready. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I just, I can't, I can't wait. Oh, man. I just, I don't know. I, I like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. I don't, I'm sorry. I need to calm down. I just, I love The Legend of Zelda so much. It means so much to me as a series as a whole, not just like nostalgia and whatnot, but just, I don't know, like words can't describe just how much I love this. And now that it's finally here, that I finally get to play it on the new console for that matter, I, it's like I don't even know what to do with myself. Wee. Well, that is that is what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm gonna run around in circles. That is evidently what Pro Mommy Gamer does. <laughs> das wunderbar. Okay, so it'd be a little bit redundant to save, but let's see options. Amiibo. Yeah, I want to use Amiibo. Oh, okay, fine. I'm like, I have them, I might as well use them. Not right out of the gate, but, you know. No, no, uh, sure. Oh, okay, cool. Jump button. Okay, um, it'll... Normal? Pro? We'll do normal. I mean, I know I'm pro mommy gamer, but I'll stick to normal, at least at first. So how are you holding the controls, like the Wii Remote, uh, or with the controller add-on thing? I'm doing the, in your words, the controller add-on thing. This. It's, um, of course, it still has the little stickers uh, for the uh, for the Joy-Cons, but it's called the Comfort Grip, I believe it's called? Yeah, like the Joy-Con Comfort Grip. So, but yeah. It's like a normal mommy gamer. I know, right? Message window transparency. We'll do later. All right, let's not. You know, what, screw it. Let's just get into the game. Just let's enjoy it. Oh man. 
Get examine. Which, it's kind of funny with the Sheikah tablet looking like the Sheikah that tablet. Is a Sheikah slate. Or slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. And I'm sorry if there are any audio issues or stuttering uh, with the visuals or anything. Like, I'm sorry about that. Uh, long story short, my legato, I don't... I don't have the proper, uh, the, sorry, the proper hookup for it. So I'm hoping this will work, but I'm sorry if it just doesn't look good or if it doesn't sound good. So go ahead and let me know just in case, you know, in case I'm just not seeing the effects of it. But otherwise, yeah, it's probably what I've most expected. So Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet... There's something familiar about it. Hmm, where have we seen this before? The chic phone, alright. You to call me on my chic phone. Is the game running buttery smooth on my monitor? Yes, actually, on my monitor it runs fantastic. Because um, the way that the Elgato works. I guess. I'm just guessing. This is totally all coming right out of my back pocket. Are these constellations? <gasps> oh, that's cool. I mean, like, they don't have to be, but they really remind me of constellations. I don't know. Maybe that's what they are. Anyway, um, but yeah, so basically what you do is that you hook the cord, the HDMI cord, from your gaming console into the Elgato, and then from the Elgato, another HDMI cord that goes to your TV, your monitor, and, you know, going out to that. So I'm pretty sure that's, like, kind of a direct connection there, but otherwise there is a USB cord going into the computer, which I'm guessing it works more like a splitter, because on my monitor, even when it was stuttering uh, during when I was trying to get it all set up, yeah, like, yeah, sorry. But yeah, when it was stuttering, even on the computer side of it, on the preview, oops, sorry, um, even on my monitor, it was still running really smoothly. So, yeah. Well-worn trousers. The old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. If they're too short, I wonder if that means that you were younger when you had them last? I don't know. I'm just automatically theorizing about this. It's a bit choppy on here, but it still looks great. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, though, because this is as good as I can get it, at least until I might be able to exchange this Elgato for the other one, but anyway, that's a whole other thing. So It's like an unlocked... It's like an unlocked uh, 30 FPS. Yeah. I did, yeah. I played around with a bunch of settings and this is the best that I could get it. Let's put some pants on. Equip. Yay. Next chest. Left eye so bright and shiny and glowy. A uh, thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Why is everything on the short side? Like... Oh yeah, that's right, there's a jump button now. There we go. Now you don't look like a heathen. I'm wondering if he was younger or something when he had these clothes last, because that would make sense why it would be shorter. Uh, what? Okay, so that's how you move it. Pick up that. Cool. Gonna climb it. Ah! Climb up the wall. Ah, okay. Oh, where'd I go? Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Did I face through the wall? No. So just drop it. Alright, so pretty standard fare. Just kind of getting used to the controls. Oh, hey, Coburn. How are you? <laughs> go out natural. Nah, we'll give him some clothes. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Am I doing it right? Am I, am I doing it? Oh, 
authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. I'm picturing like GLaDOS, the voice of GLaDOS in there. Shorty's like a melody in my head. Oh man. Think. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. I might turn the volume up just a little bit because I'm used to having to put things down quite a bit to be less than my voice, but I think we're safe if I bump it up just a little bit. Maybe. Tell me if this is too loud, like if the sound effects or any music or whatever it starts getting too loud, let me know. Oh, and I've got like no stamina. But hey, I was able to make it anyway. feels very open and vast and it's just like oh hey what's that over there <laughs> like I want to go to all the places and hey what's what's right over there right next to me Ooh, a stick it's shiny let's take it tree branch wooden branches such as this are pretty common but it's surprisingly well balanced it doesn't do much damage but it can serve as a weapon in a pinch Attack with your equipped weapon. Aww. You can't chop down the grass. Ooh, mushroom. Take it. Hylian shroom. A common mushroom found near trees around Hylou. Hylou? <laughs> around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Uh, let's see. Sheik attack works better than my Bluetooth. I know, right? Seriously, like, get, getting the Pokemon Go Plus uh, thing to sync with the Bluetooth, it's not that it's hard, but sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. I honestly love the techno magic. Technology and magic go so well together. I think Doctor Who does that pretty well, actually, because there's a few times where it's like, oh, it's magic! And it's like, no, I mean, yes, it's mostly just science. It can still be explained through science, but it's still magic in at least a couple episodes it kind of touched on that we've reached the title i know right it's just like take the bush <sighs> also getting to that peak it's just like <sighs> breath wait so i drew my eyes over the other way but what if i go this way Your stamina runs out you'll be too tired to do certain actions until it fills up a grant let's just take lots of tree branches uh, press and hold the right button, and then, oh, okay, so while you're holding it down, you can then use the right joystick to, like, cycle through stuff. Stuff, not stuff. Alright, probably don't need that many sticks, but you know what, I can always drop it later. Run, run, run. Ooh, mushrooms. Let's get them. Take all the things. Thank you. I see like there's other stuff here and there, but I don't want to fill up my inventory with literally everything. What are you? Oh, they're bugs. Oh, do you have to be all sneaky? Ha ha! I got it! Bladed Rhino Beetle. This beetle's razor-sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to concoct an elixir that will raise your attack power. Nice. I'm gonna tell him you said that. I know, I almost- I accidentally said Hylou instead of Hyrule. You can tell him, it's fine. If you don't, I probably will anyway. Common mushroom found around Hylou. Um, I mean, hey. Oh, wait, I can- Oh, climb! Take it! Oh, that's cool! 
I feel like a bear. No, don't fall. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, it's so diverse. Like, there's so much you can do. Most of the stuff... No, I want that. Give it... Like, it comes naturally, generally speaking. Like, it's... Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah slate. Okay. I mean, I'll get, I'll get there. Chill. First, I want this apple. I want it. Ah, dang it. Oh, well, whatever. Fine, apple. I'll let you stay. Alright, it really wants me to access the slate first. Ooh. So... No, I'm not talking about science masquerading as magic. I mean science and magic working together in, in harmony together. No, I totally understand that. Like, I... Like, with Doctor Who, how they basically explain magic as science, or, yeah, basically that. Like, that magic has a scientific reasoning. But Zelda, I think, takes the approach that you're saying, which is, like, it's technology, but using magic. It's not... It's not necessarily electricity, but it's still a power source of some kind. It doesn't have GPS, but it knows the area somehow. And so, you know what I mean? Like, who knows what, how these schematics are in here? Are they in here biologically somehow? I mean, like, because DNA, it can hold so much information. Is there some... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's like a whole other tangent, but, like, I see it working very well together. So I don't really want to put a stamp on where I'm at. Unless I'm supposed to come back to my beginning cave at some point. The Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, that's where I just came from. Wait, there's a quick travel system? Oh, that's neat. Uh, sure? Okay. From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on the Sheikah Slate. That slate... I'm sorry, the slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You find that you can access its map by pressing the... Excuse me, the select button. I think I'm starting to get heartburn. This map is so huge. I know, actually, wait. Stop mentioning that, Doctor Who. I don't mean that. I know, I know you don't mean that. I'm saying that the two, they're not alike. I just thought it was kind of funny. Not funny, but interesting. Because, like I said... Like, Doctor Who says, like, oh, magic's ex magic, ex magic is explainable through science. Whereas what you're saying and what this game, this very game seems to be doing, is that technology and magic are two separate things, but they're working together. Even, like, magic is real, and whatever science that makes this all possible is real. Wow, that... Ooh. Like, I knew that it was big, but that's huge. All right. Oh, wait. Old man. Let's talk to you. Okay. I know, right? Magitech! Oh, man. Perfect harmony of technology and magic right there. Magitech. Magitech armor, specifically. Nukem. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm calling it now. He's the king. He's probably the king. I don't know. That's like my own headcanon. By the way, I have seen nothing story-wise with this game. So if I start theorizing and I happen to be correct, don't tell me or confirm it if you know i'm mostly just theorizing for my own sake but seriously i'm calling it now i think he's the king i'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now i mean i could just be really really wrong as well but you never know what brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this where are we answering a question with a question that is fair enough as i cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Reading mode engaged. 
sorry. I just got this uh, computer chair and I can't stop spinning at it. I'm so used to the dining room chair that just like, you, you can't spin, so. Yay! That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Well, thank you. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course, although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. Thank you, sir. Ooh. What? Oh my gosh, thank you for the host soapbox. Thank you. Uh, which one? K yeah, King Beardy of Beard Rule. Hmm. If you spoil it, I'm going to purge you. Not you specifically, but to anyone watching. I know, right? Hey, soapbox, how are you? So, soap, my brother, what's up? Wubba lubba dub dub. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> Forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Seriously, though, like, campfire apples are so good. No, I don't want to talk to you. Do you not have somewhere else to be, young one? say no can i can i literally roast an apple by the fire do i just have to drop it uh baked apple cool um okay how do i drop it oh wait here we go um sort hold back select rotate Oh, that's me. So I'm like, what? Why would I rotate the apple? Can you not just simply drop it? Oh. Uh, put away, action, attack, jump, pause menu, camera controls, change weapon. Oh, that's how you crouch. Okay, so you press it in. And then she can sleep. I uh, don't know. Select. Hold it. Okay. Return. Can I drop it? Oh, so that is... Ah, it's on fire! It's on fire! It's on fire! Baked apple. Ding! Hey, it worked! I've never had a campfire apple. It's really good. Just cut it up. Like, cut up a, an apple into slices. Or just get apple slices. Whatever. Actually... I didn't think that it would stay zoomed in. There we go. It'd be nice to see more of the terrain, but I guess that's, I guess, with another thing, maybe? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah, just slice it up, put it in some tin foil. If you have butter, use that. Not much, just a little bit, and it'll give it a really nice buttery flavor, but... If you have it, put cinnamon and or sugar, and it is so good. It's very, very simple, but it's really good. So that's uh, shrooms. Okay, so let's try this. Hold. Oh, I can hold that many. Okay, can I hold it? Okay. Because if it catches fire and just kind of stays caught fire... Far? Oh, to throw it. Near or far. Okay. Drop. Alright, mushroom. Cook. Take it. Take it. Take it. There we go. Toasty Hylian Shroom. Hylian Shroom toasted to perfection. Mwah. The taste and fragrance are amplified, restoring more health to its consumer. So I could do that for each one, but I kind of want to get going. I can do that another time. Ooh. Ooh, big axe. Woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Good to know. I prefer speedy weapons. Even if they don't do quite as much damage, I would rather... Oh, man. 
it's just whoa. There's a pig or a boar. <laughs> don't hurt me. Like I don't have much of a way to defend myself yet. Ooh. What's that? More of them. Take them all. Oh shoot! I saw that. No, right away. Right away. I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. No, thank you. Ooh. Sorry, I know, like, oh, wait, there's a sword over there. <gasps> wait a second, is that... Can I swim? Don't move! Okay. I found you. I totally meant to do that. Huh? You're not, Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. A Korok seed. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Like a warm caramel apples? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. Kinda. I wouldn't say caramel, but it has uh, similar notes to it. Like... Do you like cinnamon on anything else, like toast or, um, I don't know, like oatmeal or anything like that? Because if you like cinnamon on those, then you like it on the apple. Even if you're not crazy about apple pie, it's still a really yummy treat. So, Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Dash. Cool. Gonna get up. Oops. Okay. Get up there. A rusty broadsword! This once fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. You can throw the weapon in your hands. Because, like, I don't really need my stick anymore. Oh, wait a second. That quick swap thing. Right, that's to whistle. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Probably scale that wall over there to get up there. Uh, water looks so nice too. I eat cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck are you talking about? I eat cinnamon toast crunch. Of course I love cinnamon. Well, good, because if you like cinnamon, then definitely have it with cinnamon. Like I said, cinnamon, butter, um, and sugar if you have it. I mean, apples are sweet on their own, and their sweetness is amplified when you cook them like that. But still. You're still going to want just a little bit of sugar if you want it, like, actually sweet. <gasps> ah, oh gosh, I don't even know how to get my weapon out. Ah! No, I don't know how to use my weapon. It's going to kill me. I don't remember what to do. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. I, don't... I threw it! Crap! Crap! Take it! How do I... No! How do I use it? I didn't really get a lesson on how to actually use the stupid thing. Okay. That's... Uh, okay. Once I found the button, we were good. I never think thought going up against a Bakoblin would actually be stressful. <laughs> Bakoblin Fang. A tooth obtained from a Bakoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Cool. A horn. The severed horn, uh, it's often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into a stew. And the club. Crude club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. All right. So, it's more powerful than what I have now, but it'll break really easily. Then again, the sword I have will probably break easily anyway. And, oh, you love cinnamon and added cinnamon to a burger seasoning I made tonight. Oh, this one's really cool. Cinnamon is used a lot in, like, Indian foods, too, I've noticed. Wow, you really are using every part of the Baka blend. I know, right? Go me. Waste not, want not. Like, I know you're supposed to go inside, but I like looking around, too. You know, like, ooh, maybe there's hidden stuff over somewhere. I mean, I could just go in. 
I don't know. I'm just afraid that, like, if I go in, something will happen, and then I won't be able to explore the area as much. So note to self. Why is how you use your weapon. My gosh. Okay. Never mind. I'll just go through the front, just in case there's, like, a little cutscene or something. Oh, can I cut grass? I did read something about there's not going to be, like, rupees and stuff in the grass anymore. You're just literally cutting it. Alright. Well, I guess it's true. Oh, I wanted to throw it. It wouldn't be a Legend of Zelda- Oh. That works. It's like, it wouldn't be a Zelda game without throwing some pots. There we go. Yay. I'm satisfied. Really pretty. So, I mean, like, that looks just like the goddess statue from Skyward Sword. Is it just a reused asset? I mean, that might have had something to do with it, but... Is this supposed to be the Temple of Time? Just an ordinary... No, it can't be the Temple of Time. Right. Oh, is that a chest? Did I miss that? Uh, no. It's either a pillar or a grave. Because, like, I can see similarities to... You know, other structures in the past. But namely the goddess statue. Oh, look at the little ones. Oh, you can pray. Okay. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Oh, that was nice. Nice, nice little quiet moment. Seems like there would have been more here. Also a note, I really like the music in this. It's not distracting. Oh. Oh, there's the crest. Shoot. Does that say anything? Where are you? Oh, you probably say something underneath all this dirt. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Alright, I'm supposed to be getting somewhere, aren't I? Where was that? Nope, wrong way. That one. Oh, wait. Uh, didn't it... Didn't it show me where I needed to go? I was supposed to put a marker, wasn't I? Well, oh well. I, I guess I'm winging it. Reusing assets isn't bad so long as it's done in a purposeful way. <laughs> a Majora's Mask. I, I hear you. Because, like, and again, that goddess statue, you're in a shrine. It fits, you know? Also, another trick, how everything isn't fully rendered out at the farther distances, that trick was mostly mastered by Spyro, how they'll have less detailed assets way far out, and then as you get closer, it'll render it to be more detailed. Oh, that's a gigantic skull. There's probably baddies in there. Not a bad thing, necessarily. Oh! Maybe that's the thing I'm supposed to go to. Okay. Let's go down. Oh, I see another guy over there. Maybe I can sneak up on him. I mean, I could just avoid him altogether, but what's the fun in that? Oh. This literally is the Temple of Time. Yeah, actually. That makes a lot of sense. I think it flashed up before, and I just maybe wasn't paying attention. Wait a second. So there's one up there, then what about the one down here? Oh. Hello. Hey, butterfly. And... <gasps> Wait a second! No. Maybe? This right here really reminded me just now of, um... Oh, great. Oh, wow. Oh, isn't that, um... Isn't that Feror? Is that Nairu or Feror's symbol? 
Crap, I think it's Furor. The symbol of courage, right? Like, Furor is courage, Nehru is wisdom, uh, Din is power, right? Right? Oh, hey, Nightlight, how are you? How are you doing tonight? Uh, I think I'm going to do the recipe a bit differently. I watched a video on it, and I don't like the foil thing. I think it's probably better to just pan-fry cut apples with the ingredients. You could do that, but then it wouldn't be a fireside one. But yeah, it really reminded me of the courtyard in Ocarina of Time when, um, the courtyard where you meet Zelda and she's up on the steps and she's peeking into the window to see her dad conspiring with Ganon, or Ganondorf, rather. Like, I mean, it's nowhere near as big, but it was just kind of shaped like that. Anyway, that's enough dilly-dallying right there. But yeah, I saw the one guy over there. It's facing that way. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. <gasps> Dang it, I put him on alert. He heard me. I wanted to sneak up on him. Turn the other way. Please? Yeah, there's a rock. Hey, look over there! Sorry. I heard him like way off to the left there for a second, so I wasn't sure if there was like another thing. Get him from behind. Shh. Be super sneaky. Yeah. It is badly damaged. That's okay. Ooh, a horn. All the things. Should probably switch over to the club at some point. Open the chest! We earned it! Yay! Oh, yay! Hylian trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric make, fabric make these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes, makes them ideal for travelers. Alright, let's go ahead and equip these. We get those little scrawny boots. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Now we just need the top. Wherever that is. Ooh, things I can break. There we go. Nothing in there. No, you're supposed to break. I also kind of like that it doesn't just automatically break. You actually have to like really smash it right up against it. Okay, this barrel is incredible. Incredibly durable. Bah! No, I didn't want to crouch. I know it's badly damaged, but that's okay. I got rid of it. It was a choo choo, wasn't it? Probably chew jelly, and I could have made a blue potion out of this stupid thing. Ooh, what's that? Bah! Didn't see you there. Well, it broke. Uh. Nope. Nope. Eh, don't throw rocks at me. Okay. Uh, I could use that, but I don't really like it. It's being slow. I'll take that. Hooray! I need to be more careful. But yeah, that thing right there, I wanted to see what it was, but... If there's another chest over here, maybe, one with better shirt... Public. I know. I, I mispronounce stuff sometimes. No. Throw it. Throw it like you mean it. Crush it. Ooh. What's that? Roast bird drumstick. Raw bird drumstick that's been cooked to a crisp. Skin and all. It's devoid of seasoning, but it has a simple, accessible taste. It restores more hearts than the raw variety. I'd imagine... Hey, there's another 
one. Maybe I can just go beat it up real quick. Because I did kind of mess that up from before. Hey, you. Ooh, two of them. Yay, choo-choo jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Elemental stimulation. Like, you know, fire? Oh, I guess that could also mean water, or wind, or earth. Put that away. Put it away. There we go. Yeah, I haven't been playing along. By the way, hello, Neovanta. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, what's this? Mm. Oh, it's probably a fountain. Uh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. This is the fountain. Is this the fountain? It's, it's gotta be the fountain from Ocarina of Time. Maybe. Or... Uh, wait, no, maybe, I was gonna say, no, maybe, uh, Twilight Princess, but that would be Hyrule Castle if that was the case. I don't know. I mean, they're, again, like, they're alluding to a whole bunch of different games, like, little details here and there, but nothing concrete. Ah! Dang it. I mean, there's just a nice, handy little path over here. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go over there. Was that it? I don't honestly remember where I was supposed to go because I didn't mark it on my map because I'm being an idiot. Avoid those guys. They're archers, I think. Looks like they're holding bow and arrows. I mean, I'll pass. Hmm. I'm sure all this water would make it harder to sneak, but I already know I'm going to attract his attention anyway. I could try sneaking. Dang it, I did it. Not that great, but it broke. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a shield. Nice. Uh, create by attaching a handheld, sorry, a handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Still, better than nothing. Sorry. Just drawing doodles. Cool. Fountain from Zelda 2. I'm so thirsty. Can you please get me some water? Hey, it could be that one too. Just saying. I mean, like, I kind of like that they left it a little bit ambiguous because certain things you're like, oh, this has got to be from Skyward Sword because it's the, the, the goddess statue. And then other times it's like, well, no, this has to be from Ocarina of Time. Well, maybe it's from Twilight Princess because of the way the staircase was. Like, so I don't know. Ah, goodness. Didn't realize how thirsty I was. Raise your shield with the left trigger. Ooh. Heck yeah. Very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Well, probably better than one I had anyway, so. So I automatically start using the best one, I guess. That's pretty nice. Hey, you. Let's examine this. Place the Sheikah slate in the pedestal. I love how he's just looking at it. Sheikah tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. What? Okay. Uh... Okay. She missed my obvious Captain Planet joke. No, I know. It's like, with the power of heart. 
No, I know. I sort of left it open to that, but then I honestly forgot about it. <laughs> it's like, because of all the elements. Heck yeah. I remember seeing that clip. Oh, I didn't even realize this whole place is surrounded by a wall. Oh, it's a whole bunch of them are going up. Oh, that's so cool. And that's the one that I'm at. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, uh, yeah. I love it. Great Plateau Tower. Nice. <laughs> Trump intensifies. Distilling local information. It's still so cool. Yay! Please fill in my map. That'd be nice. Regional map extracted. Thank you. Very handy. How do you work? I would like to know. Remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Hey. They achieved making it look kind of creepy. Now then. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. But I want to discover everything there is in the game. Follow the Sheikah Slate complete. That's just a bunch of rubble. Oh. Oh, but it's the eye symbol. I think I just heard a door open, so that might... My child, my probably my eldest, might be awake. You're glowing blue. What do I do with you? Can I... Oh. Let's just swap out shields. Okay. I mean, like, I see the one over there. Let's just open this up. I mean, so it already has the structure on here, so it's not like I really have to actually put that there. I can just see where it is. Now you can really get a sense of scale. Yeah. My gosh. Like... Holy crap, it's just so big. I mean, I love it though. There's so much to explore. I just, I don't know where to go in a way. And I know that that's, wait, what did that say? River of the Dead? Why does that say River of the Dead? There's a little dock? I don't want to go there now. Oh, that was on the other side of that shrine that I was at. That's all the way back over there, though. Mount Hylia. Could go over there. That looks like a waterfall. There's a dock right there. I mean, River of the Dead is probably called River of the Dead for a pretty good reason. Hopper Pond. Forest of Spirits. Like, I don't know what to do. Um, let's... Let's go towards the forest. I guess. Or the Eastern Abbey. Oh, there's so many choices. Like, I don't know. But I just don't know why this is going blue. That's, like, my one th issue right now. Because I don't know how to get down, and I don't know why that's glowing blue. 
Try to keep, oh. Wait, is that a ladder? There we go, found it. <laughs> We're good. Oh gosh, I have to do this like the whole way down. Oh wait, is that a little nook right up there? Right up there, okay, no, that's just decoration. Just, you know, hopping down ledges. Oh, just gotta be careful. Oh, it looks so pretty. Just, the whole game is really pretty. Oh! Hey, it's the old man! King Beardy of Beard Rule. My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were at the top of the tower? That's kind of funny that you could just take like the silent protagonist role or just be like, yeah, actually talk. I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. It's pretty long way down. I know, right? At least it looks that way. No, it, it looks pretty tall. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity in shrouding the castle. Mm. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once more. Or, sorry, once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Oh. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yep. That's, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try and jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? Well, or sorry, yes. I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. <laughs> Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider. But not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Deal. I'll go get what you ask. Open the adventure log. Hmm. Come, let me show you something. Oh, what's in the adventure log? After your descent from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you leave the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said that he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Like, I see the new direction the Zelda series... Oh, sorry. See, I like the new direction the, the Zelda series has taken. Imagine they had not decided to make it their mission to rethink the conventions of Zelda. I know, right? Oh, you think it's Dr. Light from Mega Man? I gotta admit, admit that beard? Spot on for Dr. Light. He's not a Rito, you know. <laughs> they totally missed an opportunity for that one. I know, right? Oh, that would have been perfect. Just fly in on his own two wings, like, jokingly. If I ever get this game, I'd want to get the Wolf Link Amiibo because Wolf Link follows you and helps you hunt in the game. I know and actually have Wolf Link Amiibo from Twilight Princess. And you can't actually use the Amiibos until a certain point in the game, from what I know. 
But also from also what I know, you can only summon him once a day. So if he dies or something, that you can't summon him until tomorrow or the next day or whatever. See that structure there? The one shining with Oh, that's so cool. You can change the camera angle during dialogues. That's so cool. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? Yeah, that little tower, I'm guessing. Oh, no, that one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, over by those Bakoblins, you know, the, that little itty-bitty treasure chest thing. It's like, not that, you idiot. That. Oh. You cannot summon him until dawn. Kappa, I know. <laughs> yeah. Arr the wear links of Hyrule. Oh, goodness. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Really now, you don't say. Couldn't be related. I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider of fair exchange, I believe. That was not a run-on sentence, but I made it one. I mean... They're totally baiting me to try and get that, but I don't want to get demolished. Yeah, bridge is out anyway. I'll go run. Man, these guardians are everywhere. Or at least, like, the remains are. I'm sure that's only because we're behind these walls or up on the plateau. Are those frogs? Oh, it's windy. Like, what is howling at me? But no, it's just wind. <gasps> is that a chicken? <gasps> There's a chicken over there. Hold on. Froggy. Froggy. Haha. -ha. Hot footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near the water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed boosted effect. Nice. Ribbit, ribbit. I want the bird. It looks kind of like a quail. I wonder how smart this bird is. Will it let me approach? It looks like I'm just following him. No, oh, I wanted you! I wanted you for dinner! Oh well. I'll get him next time. Ooh, a different colored mushroom. This... <laughs> really? For stamina? Stamella mushroom? Or the stamella shroom? A green mushroom that glows... I'm sorry. Grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release its stamina restoration properties. Really though? Stamina? Stamella? Really? Really? What are you? Are you like a squirrel? Or a newt? A lizard? I don't care what you are, you're mine. The high tail lizard. A lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boosting elixir. Ew, what's in there? I'm guessing this means death. And there's two chests up there. But this pond says death. I'm gonna ignore it for now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a marker. Because that's what you're supposed to do. And... So, like, I guess right... Right in here. Put a treasure chest. All right. Now, whenever I decide to come back to it, if I figure out a way to get across that without, you know, probably dying or something. Ooh. Ooh, chests. But I probably can't get them because I don't think I can dive down or anything yet. That foul fell. I know, like, just like, 
Uh, true, you'd have to be... Sorry, you'd have to have a companion instead of all alone on your adventures. Wait, I walked way past it while I wasn't paying attention. Omen Al Shrine. I'll go in in one second. Um... I know. Must resist urge to make pun. The foul foul puns away! Seriously, make all the puns you want. Within reason, but I like puns. Bird. Clearly sees you coming towards it and does nothing. Until later. I know, right? Like, he saw me walking up. He had every opportunity to, like, go away. It wasn't until I was duck walking behind him and then he's just like, Nah. Peace. <laughs> Newt. Flashbacks is to Pixar movie that never was. See, no. My flashback was to Shadow of the Colossus. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Sheikah Slate confirmed. It's glowing blue. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Dude, that looks cool. Like, ah, oh, just it's just chock full of details. Like every single part of it, I'm just like, man, that's so cool, or that's so pretty, or that's just so neat. And every time, I'm just sort of blown away. Check this screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. The adventurer's heart must never stop seeking knowledge. Excuse me. Sorry, my allergies get bad at night. <laughs> Watch the bird majestically fly away. And here we have the hero on the ground trying to catch said bird for taunting him by standing still, then fly off the screen at the last minute. Ah, dang it. To you who sets foot something, something, something. Can anyone tell me what that said by any chance? Because I totally missed it. Oops. So, it's dripping water everywhere. I see there's more constellations. I see what you've done with the place. I like it. So... As I say, so, what do I do? Orange artifact. <laughs> no. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Distilling rune. So cool. So that's, that drop right there is a condensed form of energy. Or not energy, a condensed form of information. But it must be somehow organic? You know? I don't know. Maybe it's just pure essence. I don't know. I'd, I would love to see the theories on this. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Rune extracted. Birds, the true nemesis of Hyrule. It's the truth. If it's not, if it's not the chickens, the like the cuckoos, it's other quail. <laughs> quail man. Like all kinds of birds. Nope, none of them are good. Almost none. That's Eiji Anuma and Shigeru Miyamoto for you. Totally misspelled names. It's alright, I gotcha. Birds. Sorry. Birds are the true nemesis in a lot of games because they have the high ground and they know it. I know, right? They certainly were in Zelda too. I can just picture it with um, like the three amigos with Steve Martin and it's just like, look up! Up here! Up here! But a bird instead is just like, like, hey! Hey you! Up here! Sorry, I I, I kind of missed what button that was supposed to be. Uh, nope. Ah, there we go. That was the button. Okay. Activate. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, to so show you what I'm doing. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so you can't like tilt it but you can do that so oh wow that's that's really cool where do I put you 
Probably just anywhere. As long as I uncovered the hole, that's pretty much all they wanted, I guess. Uh, nope. There we go. Oh, I'm using the tablet. I'm using the Sheikah Slate. Alright, so, and I can look around using this as well. So that's so cool. It's, the motion controls in it just feel very, uh, just very natural. Very similar to how you would use the Wii U, because that's just, I guess, what I'm kind of used to. So it makes sense that they would tailor it for both. And obviously it came out for both, so, I don't know. Just very nice. Chica eyes everywhere. Those constellation thingies. When in doubt, use the new item you just found. Anything else? Oh, there's one in there too? Probably have to lift that over here. Uh, hold on. Final boss, you have traveled far to reach your goal. Endured every trial to face the most evil being known to man. The bird. Dun, dun, dun! I know, right? Woo! Hello! Ah, uh, ha, 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 I can sort of peek. What's that? It's like a little mini guardian thingy. What else is over there? Hmm. Alright. Oh. Ooh! Can I smash it? Nope. Hold on. Push? Hey! I did! Ah! That's really cool. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so satisfying. I love to doing that. I kind of want to do it again. Um. Uh, to you who sets- oh, thank you, Gabe. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I, and I am Oman Ao. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Thank you. Yeah, because I totally missed it. Quail Man? Dropping Doug references? Whoa. Yes, uh, we are known to drop a couple references, namely from the 90s. It's oh, it's over, Anakin! I have the high ground. Has anyone seen the meme with that? But using um, it's down there. But using the Alolan form of Executor from the new Pokemon Sun and Moon, it's hilarious. I love it because um, you know the Executor is super duper tall, like a palm tree, and oh, sorry. And anyway, so it was quoted it's like to the normal excuse me, to the normal executor, it's just like, it's over. It's over again. I have the high ground. Yeah, so there we go. Dude. But I want that. Can I have it? Hmm. Keep hitting that button instead. I can. <gasps> Gimme, gimme, gimme. Heck yeah. Traveler's bow. Hey, we got a bow. Small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. Attack with a bow from that one. Draw the bow and then release to fire. Simple enough, but how many arrows do I get? Or are they unlimited? Do I have unlimited arrows? <gasps> Ooh, can you shoot those? Oh, nope. I've got no arrows. That made a lot more sense. You don't follow Pokemon memes? Some of them are actually pretty funny. Hey, there he is. I know I've seen these, uh, these guys. Like in trailers and stuff. So are all these Shika then? Oops. 
You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. Felix old. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to the defeat of Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Ooh. It's like he's not really sure how he felt about that. <laughs> oh, I like that chime. That was really nice. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. Because, yeah, like, it touched his chest. He's just like, not sure about this. May the goddess smile upon you. Yep. He fulfilled his purpose. He's gone. Bye. That looked really pretty, though. I'm kind of a sucker for particle effects. I don't know what those mean. So, like, three hearts, one spirit orb, one toothpaste goop of, like, a dollop. Where are you at now? Yay, there he is. Beard rule. Oh! Oh, hey, Neil! How are you? But yeah, I'm still streaming. I'll probably stop soon, though, because it's getting actually really late. I know I haven't streamed for very long, but it took me a long time just to get the Elgato to work properly, so... Anyway, that's a whole other tangent. Uh, I haven't seen the Anakin one, but I have seen so many memes with the Alolan Executor. I know, right? It's... They're, they're pretty funny. I mean, they're a bit overused now, but back when they first came out, it was hilarious. The crosshairs show how many arrows you have. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, so I had my first experience with Breath of the Wild tonight as well. Oh, awesome! How did you like it? I, I just, I can't believe most of it. Wait, is time still progressing as I'm in this conversation? Hmm. We'll find out. Ugh, I cringe at hearing the word orb ever since watching that one Brandon Rogers skit on YouTube. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. I don't know if I've ever seen that, so I'm not very familiar with it. Supposedly, there was going to be an Alolan Growlithe as well as Arcanine and Sun and Moon. It was going to be a water type. Oh, and they could run across water! That's so cool, but it never happened! I want that now. That sounds so cool! A gigantic water tiger dog thing that you could ride on and then have it run across the water? Heck yeah! I want one. Sign me up, please. Like, that'd be the best steed. Pretty much, anyway. So, I'm super proud of this. Uh, I played for about four hours of this. I underestimated how completely free-roaming the game is. Friend told me you could go straight to Ganon, so just mess with him. So, just to mess with him, I told him I was going to kill Ganon. Oh my gosh, did you actually beat it? I mean, I know you're still... Oh, four hours later, I'm standing at the boss room to Ganon. No way! Jeez! I mean, like, I heard you could do it, but man, it's just, it's unreal to think about it. Anyway, uh, sorry, well done. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, parag paraglider, please, now. Thank you, gimme, gimme. I think I've made this link very greedy. <laughs> just like, uh, excuse me, gimme, gimme, I'll take it now, please. I'll accept payment. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Or maybe he has future sight like Sapphire. Anyway. Ho ho! Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. Oh man, he's dropping so many hits. However, that which once was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps it is not true for everyone. Oh, that laugh. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine hmm. is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. <laughs> uh, paraglider, paraglider, please? What do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. 
Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again, but their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Thank you, game, for telling me. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. There wasn't the deal! So, I need more now? I said treasure, but I never said there would be only one treasure. Sneaky old man. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? <laughs> you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. Well, that's good, otherwise I'll be stuck on this a long time. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Just for the fun of it. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm afraid not, but don't worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. How does this guy know all this, though, to, like, look at your Sheikah Slate? I mean, I know he's basically the tutorial, but canon? How does he know all this? He must already know all about this. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave from where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Yes! Fast travel. Mm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Uh-huh. Sure, old man. You keep- Oh, he's actually called old man. <laughs> it's like, you keep saying that. Try traveling to the top of the tower. From there, you should be able to scout the location of another shrine. You know, you sure know a lot, mister. <laughs> when you have been around as long as I have, you pick up a thing or two. Go on, why not try it out? Also, look how tall he is. Seriously, Link is not a six-year-old. I mean, he's at least a teenager. He should be more or less fully grown. You know, maybe a couple inches off. This guy is, like, take Link's height, cut it in half, and add that half on top of him. He, like, that's how big he is. Oh! Okay, sorry. I didn't read any spoilers, but... Sorry, what was spoiled? What was spoiled? The fact that you could go get Ganon. Oh, that's okay. I already knew that you could go get him immediately. I just, I don't know anything else. Link, please. We need to learn more about the world. Link, don't care. Paraglider. I know, right? Paraglider are so much more important than saving the kingdom. I'm not sure if you got it, but I did send a reply message. Twitch whisper seems a bit messed up for me. Anyway, Dr. S Dr. Light invented the Sheikah Slate. Plot twist, it's actually Dr. Light. And instead of creating robots, he helped the Sheikah invent all of their technology. What? Mind blown. I don't know. Uh, he's beer mode. Or beard mode. No, no. The spoiler was explained. I was in the wrong. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um... King's got a most bodacious butt. Look at that. Look at the booty. Swiggity swooty. I'm a coming for the booty. Anyway. Where does he even go to at night? I'm kind of curious. Keep walking. You're just going to stand there. Gonna... Just going to stand in there. Okay. Oh, but wait. No, there's stuff in here. I remember now. Hold on. Those chests? I'm pretty sure they're metal. Probably. Because it makes sense. Like, hey, here's a cool item. Go use it. Uh, pull. I need to get used to that. Drop that. Open it. I'm all about loot. Amber! Fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Nice. I was gonna say, I thought, ooh, the water looks really pretty. Alright. There's a bridge? 
Sure. I mean, I could use it, I guess. Aw, it's okay, Gabe. It's okay, Deal. It, I totally understand. Actually, the Zelda group that I'm a part of on uh, Facebook, we've enforced it. No, we personally, but like the admins are now screening everything before it gets posted because, you know, it just risk of spoilers, you know. So, but it's okay. It's cool because this game is awesome and you want to share it and you want to like kind of share your love for it. And I totally get that. So, but preferably I'd like to be mostly unspoiled. I don't mind a general point in the right direction though be just because of how massive this game is um, generally speaking a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence sh uh, similar to the inside of a seashell it contains the power of water that's so cool and it's really pretty oh I can climb down but I can't really do anything let's make a bridge uh, maybe. This is really temperamental. Oh, that just goes straight into the water. Well, what can I do with it? <laughs> just like... Uh... Oh. Yes, I am doing exactly what you all think I'm doing. Did he just say, oh no? Should I, I kind of want to do it. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Go on. What do I do? Oh my gosh. So, I'm a horrible person, but that was fun. Not gonna lie. Can I, like, damage this? Drop it? Well, that's cool. Oh, what'd I get? An arrow! Yay! Hey, look, I've got a quiver now. I've already opened those two. Let's go across. It could happen to anyone. Form opal. Oh, I know. Are those flying towards me? Or are they just kind of chilling? Okay. Yeah, there's an owl somewhere over there. My gosh. I love the... Oh, my little grip came off. Hold on. Sorry. I'm going to look at the stars for a second. Not what I wanted. I didn't know that was a thing! What? Edit plan is quick. Place plan? Oh, so I can just look at that. Can I place that? <gasps> that's so cool! <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Do we see any others? Anywhere? Hmm. Said there's three. Ah, there's the other one. Oh wait. Or was that the first one? No, it's orange. That means I haven't done it yet, I'm guessing. Cause yeah, that one's blue, so that's the one that I've done. That's so cool. That's really smart, actually. I keep trying to select it. Alright, lift it up and jump. Take that. Boink! Alright. Ooh. Nice! Roasted bass. A bass that's been cooked whole over an open flame. It's flaky and savory smelling. Offers more hearts than the raw version. Naturally. Alright, so I could go... Really, anyway. Oh! Can I get those now? Or is this basically still death? Unless they're metal. Didn't think to do that with the box? I don't know. It's just like, hey look, there's a thing. 
Can I grab that? No. Dang. What's that? Too far, but I don't want to get in this death mire. Dang it. Alright. Hold up here. What's over here? That's a big boulder. That's a nice boulder. Oh, it's metal. Where, where, where do I put it, though? Do I just go up there? Nope. That, that is not what I do. Alright. Well, come over here, I guess. pull it nothing happens if you keep pulling it but what good is that just for the fun of it I don't know I'll probably never figure out everything about this game unless I look at the guide which I bought because it's Zelda and it's the collector's edition but I don't plan on really using it yeah, now I want to watch Steven Universe. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I didn't think it would instantly roll towards me. Crap. Okay, how do I eat food? Uh, that's a thing. Nope. Um, food. Here we go. I need to replace two hearts, so... Where's the baked stuff? Ah, there we go. Okay. Um, I'll do that during fights. I'll just do the apples for now. Nope. And do one more half heart. Nice. Well, that was fun. Um, sorry, I you know, I've just been really, like, engrossed in the game. This game honestly made me want to sell my uh, PSVR headset to get a Nintendo Switch. No, don't do that! The PSVR is awesome! Seriously, my friend has it, and it's, it's super fun. Um, was right to wipe the chat. That's something you should see and experience yourself. Okay, well, thank you. Um, what can I do with this? Accidentally <laughs> pops old man. Whoops! Can I have my paraglider now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Just be like, oopsies. So, uh, can I have it now? Want to travel by Magic Tower? That would make work commute so much easier. I know, right? Actually, I should probably do that now. Um, I know, that stupid boulder. Crushed by his own hubris. <laughs> I want to help, but I don't know what would be spoiler level help now. <laughs> That's okay. No, it's okay. I'll only if I seem like really stuck or if I'm going in like the totally wrong direction from what I want to do. They should be like, "Hey, dingus, you're going the wrong way." Unless there's something cool up ahead or something, then that's fine. But like, if I very clearly say, "I'm going to here," and then I'm like, go in the wrong direction, you might want to be like. Uh, wasn't it in the other direction? Then I might check my bearings or something. Because uh, I figured out the purpose of the ball and chain. Oh! When I, oh, you figured out the purpose of the ball and chain. Nah, leave it for now. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Because it looked like the stump, like the ball in a cup game. It looked like I could put it in. But I don't know what to do with it after that. So I'm guessing I'll figure it out another time. I think help should be given when she asks. Fair enough. Thank you, Gabe. And Neil. And Nightlight, you're hilarious. <laughs> oh, dur. I was just told. This old man has been yelling at me like, Hey, idiot. Use this. How does this work? So cool. So... You're essentially deconstructed to your basic elements, and then you fly across the world to where you need to go. 
Seems legit. Oh man, got knocked unconscious from a random board <laughs> hitting his head. Um, takes paraglider. I'll just hold on to this for you. Hope you don't mind. Runs away. Uh, this and Twilight Princess are the only Zelda games I haven't played. Oh, hello, Pronoun. How are you? Um, that's fair. I know. Ball in a cup. The ball on a string stays attached to the cup. <laughs> it's ball in a cup. Seriously, though. Old man. I have serious concerns. You... How'd you get up here? The paraglider only works one way, right? Like... Well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to travel instantly? <laughs> no. Now then. I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? I do now. Look through it and you can stick a pen anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Yeah, I figured that out now. Hmm. The pins on your map serve as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? <laughs> yeah, how do you know? Just a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. I think he's an unaging king over these past hundred years. I think that when Hyrule got taken over by the Calamity Ganon, that he was cursed or something or other to not age any more than he has for the past hundred years. Either that or he's a descendant of the king. Either way, he's the king. He has to be. Come on. That or Dr. Light. I'll accept either. No, seriously, you're actually really hilarious, Nightlight. Like, you always make me laugh. Just watching Grease play it. Nice. Old man can teleport. I know, something is up with him. I'm I'm telling you. He could have climbed. Really, not in that amount of time. Yeah, but not like a Kakarot. <laughs> I stand by teleporting. I, I'm thinking that this might be a game I could speed run through. I could see it. Like, I have barely even scratched the surface of this game, but from what I've seen, and like from what I've heard anyways, it sounds like you should be able to speed this run, speed run this game fairly easily. Like, it should be fairly predictable, it's just more of a matter of skill. So. Have you heard of Mob Crush? No, I don't, like, it kind of rings a bell, but... I'll just say no because I don't really know what it is. Dr. Light Capsule Holograph. I know, right? <sighs> breath of the speed run. <sighs> hold your breath. Finish the game. <sighs> Held your breath the whole time. Take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Hey, look, it's Dawn. Dawn of the second day. Chin -chin. So, the waypoints, I can see it if I look through the slate, but not with my own eyes, which makes sense. Oh, wait. Is that one... Well, I don't know which one to go to now, because there's that one. I guess I'll just take a look at the map itself. Ooh, there's another shrine. Not that one. No, I want to make sure that that's not, um, I don't want it on that ridge. I want it on that shrine over there, so I'll have to double check that. Oh, and there's another one. Well, dang it, I'm out of things. Sorry. I'm out of things to use. How many are there? Is that over in the next area? Yeah, let me edit them. Where's the big goopy goop? Oh, the Korok! Okay. Uh... Where are my... Waypoints? Oh my gosh, the in-game time almost matches up with my real-life time. That's actually kind of funny. 
And the weapons you can acquire because durability is a thing. Yeah, I've already had a sword break on me. That's a thing. Uh, it's like Twitch for smartphone games. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mob Crush. Why haven't I heard of it? I don't know. Oh, well, maybe I haven't. I just don't really remember what it was. Games look beautiful. I know. It's so pretty. They really did put a lot of attention to detail. Like, every single thing so far, I've just been like, wow, that's so cool. And just, like, I can't stop gawking over it. But I thought... Hmm. Shouldn't I be able to edit the little waypoints? Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Some of those are really far away. I'm probably going to take those off then. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because there's no way that I can get to these anytime soon. So, I'll select it and delete it. I probably should have done that. Change to stamp. I probably should have done that doesn't fit any of those though. I guess I could just star it. I could give it a star. I should have done that with the other one too. Oh well. Let me star these. Because I can't get to them yet. So stars will be for towers. This one I can get to. That one I might be able to get to. Hmm. The heck is that? Can I zoom in more? The heck is that? That's so cool! Is, is it like a floating island or an airship or what? No, go down, go down. Oh, it looks like an animal, like... Look, those are the back feet, and there's like a beak with an eye, so it looks like it's a bird, but you can see the propellers! That's so cool! I'm just sort of stupefied, I'm sorry, I'm just like, oh my gosh, how do you get up there? I want to go there, like, right now. Can I go there now, please? Can I click that? Will it follow it, though? Will it move on the map, or is that just gonna... I'm curious if that beam of light will actually follow that, because I want to track it. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think it sticks with it. Dang it! Oh well. Goodbye, cool, awesome floating island airship thing. Well, just delete you. Maybe. I mean, I don't know what I'd be using the jewel yet for, but it's like, hey, why not? Where an airship has been spotted. Oh, wait, where was that? Where's the jewel thing? Oh, wow, that's way across the map. Well, hot dang. It probably flies all over the place. Yeah, change you two to a star. We're gonna make you a star! Alright. That aside. Sorry. Um, this is the switch, so it should be dawn of the second day. Satisfying click, satisfying click. Like, can I even reach those yet? Either way, I still kind of want... Not that, but that. There we go. I want the red one. There we go. That's the one that I want. Wait, no. I want to kind of keep that. Do I keep it red? Oh, whatever. It's already red. I'll just keep it that way. Alright. Anything else I can get? Um, was that one too far? I think it was. Yeah, that's beyond the walls. Oh, the walls are all basically this way. So there's one shrine I did. 
those are the other walls. So, is that one just too far? This seems like I already tried to kind of click it. Okay, so the blue is the tower. And the yellow is that shrine. Sorry, I'm still getting used to going in and out of these menus. Wait a minute. So the yellow was that one shrine. Oh, there's the other tower. Oh, okay. All right. That's that's fine. I don't really care that much. There we go. Delete the pen. Um, but there's another shrine. I might as well go to it. I don't know if I can tonight though. It's the only thing. Um, thinking on playing it on the Wii U. I'm sure the graphics look way better on the Switch. I could see it being a little better on the Switch, but with the art style that it is, honestly, it's probably going to still look really good on the Wii U. Um, it reminds me a lot of Skyward Sword. Just, it's very, it's not hyper-realistic. I wouldn't call it cel-shaded, necessarily, but it's, it's like a nice hybrid between that very artsy painter style and, you know, but just a touch more realistic, maybe. Sorry, I was ignoring the chat. I'm sorry. But yeah, it really does look awesome. It is awesome. Um, gameplay is helping me determine if I want to buy it. Well, I hope I can convince you to buy it because it's so... I have barely scratched the surface of this game. I can easily put so much time into this. Ooh, there's a skull. Um... And I haven't even done anything yet. And so part of me, I'm like, you know, I'd love to just stream this purely or to play this only on stream or even make start like making YouTube videos of it or something. But like realistically, I think I'm just going to have to play a lot of it in my downtime, too, because there's no way that I'm ever going to complete this game if I only do it on stream. If I see a shrine, it, like, if anything looks major, I'll try not to do it until I come back to stream, maybe, but I don't know how that'll work out. I don't know. I want to play this only on stream, or I might... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll, I'll think about it, but... I think the Sheikah's Tablet runs on iOS or Android. Um, I'm willing to bet Android. If it had to be the two, probably Android. Honestly... Not really, Neil. This port was made in a year time frame. I've heard it runs better on the Wii U. What? It runs on Windows OS. I know, right? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's a Blackberry. Ugh, everyone knows that. Aliens! I know! It's the floating thing. Looks like an airship. It seriously does. I can actually enjoy and respect your stream. You are not another chick with her boobs out for followers. Plus, you choose awesome games. Well, thank you! Yeah, I... I try, and I don't really like those, we all know who we're talking about, we all know those streamers, but yeah, I just, I don't really care for that at all, really at all, but yeah, thank you, it, it means a lot to me, because I used to get a lot of trolls, like really a lot of problems with trolls, and I found some of the boards that they were discussing my name on as far as like, hey, go troll her. And the whole reason why was because I was a mom playing Minecraft. That was it. That was why they were trolling me, at least at first. And after that, it was just literally because I was a girl. Because I guess girls can't play games for real. They're all fake. They're all fake gamers. They're not real gamers. I'm gonna go after them. I don't see them guarding anything, though. It looks like they're just kind of there. I don't really want to get ganged up on, either. Oh, the butterfly shadow. I'm like, what the heck was that? No, I didn't mean to do that. Gosh, dang it. Alright, hold on. You get rid of that. I don't need them. Unless that is a chest. Maybe that is a chest. I don't know. I doubt it. 
I don't know. I can go check it out, though. Um, no, isn't going towards me. It flew away. No, thank you, Gabe. Let's do some horrible streams. Like the arrival. I know. I, I love references. It just, it keeps it fun. And usually that's what pops in my head anyway. So, why not? Because I'm sure most other people are thinking it, too. Alright, so we'll go around... I'm going to be all sneaky, sneaky, like. Walk like a duck. Sarah and duck. Channel the duck. Be one with the duck. I am Scrooge McDuck. I am Darkwing Duck. I am the night. I am the terror. Darkwing Duck. Heck yeah! Like, these guys are super easy, but I can see that they would be very hard if they gang up on you or if they just have better weapons. Nice. I've got a better one, though. Ha uh ha. -huh. But I'm still gonna take everything. <laughs> Wait. Oh! Shiny things! Yes, please. What's up with all these arrows? Who did they shoot at? Is this just a breadcrumb trail for me to go get killed over there? Maybe. Well, I'll stay over here for a second. Yeah, which is the, the third one that you haven't played? Everybody hates Jen. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. We, we don't do the boards. Just simply bored? Nah. I've, I've trolled it a bit, because I just tried to get kind of the gist of the feel of it, of like, why people were trolling me. I still can't really. Oh, wait a second. Can I use this? Dang it, I was hoping it was made of metal. Oh well. Should I do a sneaky or should I try and do an explosion? Let's try explosion. We've done sneaky a bit. Nice! Well, that works. That was very effective. I like it when they explode. They go boom. Then they're set on fire. That girl is on fire! Can I take that? <gasps> nice! I mean, it only does a heart and a half. That's not very much, honestly. Ooh, I can cook some food while I'm here. Like, there's nothing else gonna sneak up on me, right? We should be good. Excuse me. Alright, take that. Fold it. And drop it. Drop it like a top. Alright. I'm getting the hang of it. Nope. I take that back. Look at all the mushrooms. Look at all the mushrooms. That's actually pretty cool. Drop them all. Hooray! Well, and now we have more cooked food. Do I have anything else that I can cook? Um, most of these four are for certain effects. Yeah, I'd rather save the effects ones for like when I need them. Oh, test out the bow. Oh, it would have been good from up there. I'm sorry. Not a lot of people know who Darkwing Duck is. Oh my gosh, I actually got my kids into Darkwing Duck. It was, it was very satisfying. Throw it. That didn't work. Wee. Guess I could just... I don't want to... There we go. Took long enough. Now I'll just keep a fresh one. Ooh, I could get that with an arrow if I can get close enough. 
without that watch guy seeing me. Probably get it from right over here with this wall. Ah, sorry. Felt like I was going to sneeze and then I didn't. I used to always think that Darkwing Duck was a Scrooge McDuck and Batman when I was a little kid. Oh, that's so cool though. Still think the theory holds weight. I know, right? Thought it was Daffy? I was sort of in the camp that thought it was Daffy Duck. Just saying. Like, perfect cross between Batman and Daffy Duck. But Scrooge McDuck, he's too old and he loves money too much. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, no. Shoot. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Abort. 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 <laughs> no. Oh, man. They got their big guy coming out. So. Is he conversing? He's talking with his comrade. Whoops. I've got to stop doing that. Alright, let's get rid of it. <laughs> Again. Because A is like to confirm everything, so I just kind of forget that I can do that. Alright, so don't hit the whistle button. Let's see if I can get this from here. Ooh, there's probably something in that little hidey hole over there. But first, I want to see if I can do this. Alright, how do I do this? Like a young Scrooge? True. So far, do you consider this game to be one of the best Zelda games ever? Um, just because I haven't gotten very far into it, it's really, really early. Dang it, to try and say that, and I'm an idiot. Again. But, so far, I love it. I love how open it is. I love how you basically have to discover everything. They still drop hints, they still give you clues, but it's not in your face, and they don't hold your hand and lead you along the way that goes, hey, look over here, you need to do this, you need to do that, and no, they just, I think that's right, uh, that one, nope, that one, make that drop, nope, dang it, it's almost spotted. Supposed to blow up, dang it. All I did is knock it over. Hmm. Oh, wait. Well, no. Because if I can get it to go through the flames, then I could just get it to blow up instantly. But I don't want to waste all my arrows. I'll come back when I'm a bit better equipped because that looks like they could probably kill me fairly easily. So I'll come back. But over here. Looks like I can maybe go inside. Nope. Trick of the eyes. I thought I could go in here. <laughs> that kind of looks hilarious. Just saying that was kind of funny. The way he was like sprawled out Spider-Man style. Oh gosh, I don't even... Like, and that's another thing with this game. There's so much to discover. Like, I'm forgetting what I'm even supposed to be doing half the time. <laughs> Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that is... Up to you. Just want to get a good look over here. Nice. Lots of mist. Very, uh, you'll die if you try to go over here. Pretty much is all that saying. <laughs> Everything the light touches is our kingdom. All of this. What about that dark shadowy place over there? <laughs> Shut up. No one asks you. Oh wow, is it already getting sunset? Well, not sunset, but it's getting late. Man, those colors change fast. Okay, focus! Focus, Jenny, focus! Um, but so far, I love it. I really do love it. Uh, you gotta go crash. I can't wait to see you progress further through the game. Be careful with the pack of mobs. I had trouble with them myself. Thank you, Neil, and go sleep. I'm probably gonna call it a night as well because it's already a little after five in the morning. Um, 
You know what? I'm debating on like where to stop it. I'm just debating. I might go back like up to one of the temples or something where it's like safe or something. But part of me wants to just keep going. Oh, cause that's right. There's another one. <gasps> wait. Oh, wait. I think I remember seeing something about this particular area. Isn't there a guardian that's still active in here? Cause I do remember seeing. Oh, that looks really familiar. I think there might be an active guardian over there, which means I would die if I went there. There's no way I can go up. Well, I want to say no way, but it'd be very difficult to go up against a guardian right now. Let me see that. How do you save? I legitimately don't know how to save. I haven't saved it yet. Um, I don't know. But anyways, have a good night, Neil. And yeah, I'm probably going to place some of it on my own. Just because of how vast it is, I don't think I could ever do the whole game on stream. Uh, like, I would never finish it. See, the crosshairs show how many arrows you have. Yeah, I noticed that. It's, it's nice. It's not in the way, and it's just right where you need it. I really do like the open world so far. Oh! Oh! Uh, what she should do, but she's not really equipped to take on that situation at the moment. It's okay. I know, the Lion King references. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, sorry from the... Sorry for the ban there! Oh, it was just a purge. Okay, gotcha. Okay, no problem. Yeah, sorry about that. I was preferring to go without spoilers if I could. Um, I do know about those... The mobs, I think it wherever they went, or rather wherever I went. I know that they're just around the corner over there. I tried firing a couple arrows into the barrels that should explode, but it didn't really work, so I, I probably have to trigger it with fire or something. So I figured I'll wait until I get either better armor or maybe a couple hearts or something like that just to go in with a little bit of extra leeway. But right now I'm actually trying to figure out how to save because I haven't saved yet. Which is cool. Is there a way to save? I mean, I know there is. Ooh. <gasps> Recovered memories. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Getting ahead of myself. These are all just items, though. Mm. Oh, I can sort them. Oh, that's very convenient. There we go. Okay, that's the save. Alright. Fair enough. Save. Yes, we're good. All right, I'm gonna try because I think I remember it was, I guess a spoiler, but this was a long time ago. I thought I saw maybe a scenario that looked like this, but I think that there might be an active guardian somewhere in here. Or not. I mean, like, I could be wrong. Nice little slow-mo bit there. <gasps> Dang it! I was right! There was one! Oh, snap. Okay. Run, 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 run. But I want that stuff. Nothing to see here. Like, one hit and I'm dead, basically. But I want to get those items. Dorman. Yep, that's great. I'll read that later. Yep, lots of key stuff. Okay, so there's got to be a way. Oh, I can use them to break the wall. Hold up. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to calm down a little bit and then I'll sneak around. Fun fact the Guardian was the first thing ever designed. <gasps> shoot! Oh, shoot! I did not really think about those. I can't do that now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Eee. Where'd they go? 
Yeah, I kind of figured something would come out at night. But that's okay. Hmm. Like, the music is so peaceful and tranquil right there. There they are. Why is it cheering? That's kind of adorable, though. Dang it. I'm... I'm just gonna make a run for it and just go head on. Nope. Not today. No! Ah, shoot! Okay, not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the arm! The skeletal arm that keeps moving, even after it's severed from her spine. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. I can't carry you anymore. Will it go away? Hmm. Anyways, sorry. But yeah, I didn't know that, that the Guardian was the first thing designed for the game. Man. Oh, I'm sorry, my allergies are, like, acting up. There's a lot of people playing? I imagine. I mean, it is, like, opening weekend for the game. Alright, it's kind of gone a little... To say, it went docile. But man, first sight and... Pew! Pew pew! I want to sort these real quick. Alright, and the melee weapons. Here we go. Alright, let's drop some sticks. Well, I mean, it's not like I need a whole bunch of everything. Alright, so you drop that. Um, that'll leave two. Two open for now is good. I just heard another one, the little, like, woohoo! Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over here. Alright. Then I'm gonna try and make it fire at that rock right there. Where is it coming from? I hear it. I hear them. Are they inside this? I think they might be. What was that? Hmm. Pretty sure that's like a one hit KO though, right? You? I, mean, I could stab it in the eye, but I want it to blow up that thing if I can. Hey, you. You know what? Yeah, here you go. Hi, look at me! Alright, so still on high alert for me. And then... No, oh, fire at me, come on. There you go, I can't run. Hold on. Alright, so... Dang it, I can't. How long do I have to see in there? <gasps> it 
and I died. I tried to have it fire, but like, at the wall. Dang it. I tried. Tried to be all clever. It didn't work. Guardians and tire are covered with armor, so low powered weapons won't do any damage. It's best to avoid these foes until you have the right tools for the job. I mean, I could go in there, but it's not like. I mean, I could just try and fire an arrow straight into it, I guess. I'll we'll try it. Where's the happens? I just restart from right back there. No, no, bad, bad link, bad link. All right, so I do have a minute. So as long as I can get my aim. Ooh. Oh, it takes up so little damage though. I'd have to have kind of a lot of arrows. Is it worth it though? Oh shoot, the Bakaloons. Not that they're or not the Bakaloons, uh the skeleton guys here. No, they're named Stephlos? The little ones. Stall childs? Or are they Stephlos? Oh shoot, I didn't know it could get me from all the way up here. The large open fields. Oh, there they are. Let's drop some stuff. Again. You'd love to stay and watch, but it's getting late and I gotta go to sleep. See you. Have a wonderful night, Nightlight. And I'm gonna call it a night here in a minute as well. I'm just gonna try to do what I did before. Just drop a couple items. Just literally the two. I've already got one of the arms. So I just want that one. Um, I was hoping to get to one of the waypoints at least. That one. And... I know, right? Rest in peace. Stealthos! That was it. Oh, that's right. No Stealth Childs. Stealth Childs. Yeah, because the Stealthos are the big, the night ones. Like the knights. Um... So there's the... Oh no! It actually marks where you died. That's kind of cool because then it's like, hey, danger. But at the same time, it's like, shut up, man. Though it actually keeps track of everywhere you've died. Yeah, that's fine. It's just a permanent black mark on my record. So then, are certain places safe? Like in that building? Oh, wait, where was I going? That's right. So far, the only one that I really saw was over here, the red one. Up, way up there. Jeez, how do I get up there? Oh, might as well go up there for now. Stealthos are the big brother to the stall childs. Yeah. And... See, like, it's so nice and peaceful over here. And it's probably like holy ground or something, so they probably can't pop up around here. Oh, if I pray, does that replenish my health? Oh, that's so nice. It didn't do that in the daytime. Oh, wow. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. But you do not yet have four spirit orbs. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. Alright. Uh, I kind of want to just... Can you heal me or something? No? Okay. 
Worth a shot. Dang it. I didn't mean to do it a third time. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, because all of those other towels are... Towels. All those other towers are just really far off. Makes you wonder how all these met their demise. Like, how they just suddenly... S oh, you can search it? Ancient spring. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. Oh, that's so cool. I was about to say, though, like, it makes you wonder how they all went out. Rather suddenly, it looks like they all just completely decommissioned rather quickly. Uh, like, maybe a giant whatever the equivalent to an EMP is in this. Theories! Jeez, yeah, I didn't know that you could do all this. Incredibly old, it's build quality and leaps Sorry. Its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology. And see, I kind of like that. The whole, like, this is ancient, but the technology is even better than what we have nowadays kind of thing. Like, I think that's just really interesting. Because it sort, of, it sort of shows an era that's just gone. And I don't know, it's just really interesting to think about. Corn. Often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nut, and you have, oh sorry, and so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Sounds yummy. Hmm. Now how do I get up there? Sorry. Ah, sorry, I had to readjust how I was sitting. I was starting my hat. I mean, like... What is this one? So, once it's daylight, I'll probably go ahead and climb up onto those to try to access that shrine. Because then once I have the four spirit orbs, then this goddess shrine will help me in some way. So, that sounds like a plan. I don't know if I'm, like I said, I've been kind of unsure if I'm going to stream pretty much every moment of me playing this game, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the smaller stuff, like say, go get the four orbs, but not talk to the goddess statue yet. You know, like I'll save that maybe for the next stream or something, something along those lines. I'll figure it out. But either way, I'll, I am going to go ahead and save it here. And I am probably going to go ahead and call it a night. So, yeah. You missed Din, Nehru. Din, Nehru, and Feor. I know. Actually, I saw one of their symbols out, out in the front courtyard here. I think it was Feor. So, that might be a key to something. Like, this might be the courage area or something like that. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in next time. I will probably be on Monday night, hopefully at a more normal time, now that I've kind of figured out how to get the stream working. I'm going to replay the stream myself, so that way I can see exactly if I can fix it, but for the Elgato, long story short, the one that I have, it's the Elgato HD60S, which has extremely low latency, so virtually no latency. Like, there's no delay from when I'm playing the game to what you guys see on the screen. So that way I'm not, like, reacting to things a full second before you guys see it. Um, you can fix that, by the way, but generally speaking, it's just a lot easier to deal with with this one. The problem is, is that it uses USB 3.0. I could have swore that my computer also had USB 3.0 slots, but it doesn't. I checked and it was actually my old laptop that did. So, I, I'm trying to make it work with a 2.0, which means that not enough data can go through fast enough to my computer, which is causing the frame drop issues and whatnot. So, 
Sorry again if the stream itself, or if the game itself is not very high quality. That is the reason why. I honestly don't even know if I can return the Elgato to Amazon to swap it up for another one, or if I'm going to find another way to deal with not having, or maybe by going ahead and just getting a different way to have a USB 3.0 port. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But anyway, thank you again. Have a wonderful evening, guys, and I will catch you on Monday. Good night. Bye.